How's it going? Welcome to my channel. I have a new fountain pen that I would like to ink up, finally. Got this from the Enso Company on October the 9th, 2020. And this is the box it came in. And it also came with two O-rings and a cartridge. And this is it right here. This is the XS Minimalist Pocket Fountain Pen in Copper, limited edition of 200. Fine black steel nib, and I got the optional clip, slide on, slide in clip in black PVD. And it just comes open like that. Okay. It has um, an O-ring here. It has the logo on the pen. Very, very... It's monochromatic. And rose gold. As you can see right there. It has an O-ring here, an O-ring here. And it came with the two extra ones. Beautiful. I love rose gold. That's the nice nib. And then it came with the cartridge. But I have put in a Kaveco Mini. We'll see how much ink I can get in there. Because that's it fully depressed. So, only about that much. So you can use the included cartridge, which I'm not going to. Um, but it, if you use the mini Gaveco converter, you don't get much ink in there. But that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill it with this ink. Here, this is a diamine ink called Fire Embers. It's the standard ink. I've already swatched this. Giving you an extreme close up. So that's how much ink that I'm going to put in there. I like to change my ink frequently, so so I'm going to log this in my log book and I'll catch you on the other side.
Okay, guys, so I've changed up my log since um, I'm actually finally done swatching all of my inks, just FYI. So I took my just ink swatch log and I put it in my Superior Labor Co. Zip A5, which is housed in the Taroko Shop Enigma. And I put the Leuch term here in the front, since this is the one I've started out with. And there is no feedback whatsoever from this black steel nib on the Leuch term 1917 paper. None. I was surprised, but it's a very smooth writing experience. I like the pen. I'm glad I got the clip um, because I do like to use that feature. Now, on my Traveler's Notebook Bullet Journal, it's not a hardcover like this, the Leech Term. So, but I can still clip it on here because I have a PVC cover over it, over this. So I like to um, put my pen like that quite often, especially if I don't have it in a um, leather cover. So now I have my Taroko Shop Enigma log book. Same. Oh, I forgot to show you the ghosting. Let's see if there is any. Yes, there's ghosting and just a smidge of bleed through right there. Um, and then in the Taroka Shop Enigma, same, no feedback, very, very smooth writing experience. And there's ghosting, but no bleed through at all. None. So that's good. And then in my Hobonichi Weeks Tomoe River Paper 52 GSM, which is my favorite paper to date. I'm actually trying to get my hands on the dot grid um, Nanami 7Cs. Um, they have the cross field in stock, but I don't want that. I prefer dots, dot grid. So I just keep checking back. Um, but it has 400 pages. That's the draw for me. Um, I love this paper very much. This is the old Tomoe River paper. And I'm very glad I have. I bought several of these Hobonichi, as you can see, the yellow notebooks before they switched over. Um, and I didn't even know they were switching over at, at that time. They hadn't announced it when I bought it. Pretty sure. Um, so... I'm glad I have that paper, a little stash of paper. But this is going to last me, I think, for my lifetime, you know. Um, so for this, but I can use the rest for whatever my needs may be. But I digress. And this is absolutely the smoothest um, writing experience of them all. The... Fire Embers looks a little bit orangey. It's a red, but it looks very orangey um, on the paper. So I like this color a lot. I thought it was perfect for fall, which is quickly approaching, being that it is September the 2nd already. So we have ghosting and no bleed through at all. I really like that. And the reason I mentioned the paper so much, I keep talking about that, is because it is planner season, so um, it's coming up where I've been using in my for my planner um, a Sumpkin. Um, I've been doing my bullet journal in a Sumpkin um, traveler's notebook, regular size. It has 380 pages which I love having a notebook with that many pages. Um, and I started that last October. 
and I have since subsequently gone into my second notebook. Um, so I'm the way I'm doing things, I'm going to be able to finish out the year with just two notebooks. Uh, my goal is to have just one notebook for the entire year, but, you know, oh, this girl likes to write, so <laughs> what are you going to do? But the, the point is, is that it's not Tomoe River paper, and I am a Hobonichi girl, and surprisingly enough, I am not doing Hobonichi at all this year. Um, I'm going to use a notebook, and so I thought I would try the seven C's. But we'll see if it comes in. Otherwise, I might just use... I like the regular Traveler's Notebook size, but... As you know, the Nanami 7Cs is A5 or um, A6, I believe. Um, so I, I might go to A5 for my bullet journal, but I really want to have Tomoe River paper. I just prefer writing on it. I really love this paper. But that is a sidebar, of course. So I'm glad I put all three logs in one book for my fountain pen log. So I think that's going to work out. I just did it um, before I filmed. Just as a side note. But I think this pen is super cute. It's like almost nine centimeters long. So it's just a little bit taller than my middle finger. So, I love it. And as you can see, I from the video, I did write with a post-it. It's very comfortable. It is a heavy pen. It's like the, um, by the way, that's ultra satisfying. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's like the heft and weight of the Kaveco Brass Sport. That's what I would liken it to. Let me see if I have that handy somewhere here. Um, I think so, yeah. I have my fountain pens, not all of them, but in a humidor. And where I have it located... Um, it's just a tight squeeze. <laughs> so I pulled out my brass sport as well as the AL sport in rose gold. It's heavier than this one, the, the rose gold one, but it is comparable to weight. It might be even, a, dare I say, a little bit heavier, but I'd have to have a scale out. It's in my kitchen you know. Uh, um, but it's comparable in weight of that. And you can see it is smaller than the Breast Sport as well as the AL Sport. So it's a dainty little pen. And it's unisex because it's rose gold, basically. Copper, rose gold, a shiny penny look. Um, it's beveled on all the sides, but this part right here is smooth. This part of the pen is smooth, so there's no beveling, so you can still write, I can still write like this, just fine. But even though it's a heavy pen because it's so short, it didn't bother me writing it po with it posted and usually I don't write with it, my pen posted so there's a comparison with it open to the brass sport and as you can see it's sh this brass sport is shorter when it's posted. Just 
just for size reference. I think that's a good point. There's that sound again. And I don't mind it <laughs> at all. But closed, the end cell is shorter. Okay? So you see what I'm saying? That's a little funny, right? But that's the way it is. So the end so is longer when it's posted, but all closed up, it's shorter overall. Okay, there's your demo so you know what I'm saying. But I love rose gold. I like the pen. It's a nice to add to my little pocket pen collection, if you will. I mean, I don't have a huge collection of pens. I want to emphasize that. But I like to use the pens that I have. And I'm very happy, finally, it's almost been a year that I've had this one. Um, you guys are going to die about the other ones that I have <laughs> that I haven't shared yet. But anyway, I will get to it when I get to it. So, But it's a pretty little pen. It matches well with the black clip, I think. Very lovely. Highly recommend. So that is my share. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care and thank you ever so kindly for stopping by. Bye.